Okay, let's talk about the basics of installing one of the Bailing Country gates. First thing you need, you're going to need a good foundation. You're going to want to use either a 4x8, 5x8, or 6x8 wooden post, or you can use steel post. The biggest thing is you want to have 4 inches of clearance in the ground, whatever size post you put. So for instance, if you have a 4x8 post, you're going to want to go with a 12 inch diameter hole that gives you that 4 inches of clearance on all sides. You want to bury that down in the ground, 36 to 48 inches, enough to be able to support the weight of the gate on the end. Some of the larger gates, when you go up to the 20 foot 2 inch ones, you may have to put a second post in and brace it over so you don't have all the stress pulling over on the post. Okay, so now that we got our post hole dug, we want to make sure it's level. So once you put your concrete in, you're going to want to check level on all sides to make sure that you have it perfectly straight up and down. Once we have a good base point like that, we can go ahead and start getting our measurements. First thing we want to do is go ahead and take a pin. Put your level on here and make sure that top bubble is lined up perfectly in between. And I'm going to go ahead and make a mark to give me a nice vertical line that's going to be perfectly straight up and down. All right? Okay. Okay. Now that we got that, we can let the concrete and everything set up. You want to go ahead and start working on the gate side. We'll go over here and grab this gate. Okay. When you first get your gate, you're going to have a hardware package on there. It's going to have all the necessary pieces that's going to allow you to mount that gate. Your instruction manual. Two hinges. Your chain for your latch. And your bolt hooks. And then all your nuts and bolts to actually secure all these items. Typically what we want to do, you want to mount your bottom hinge on the second rail up, right up against that bottom rail. That's going to give you a lot of support there. Your top hinge is going to be the second rail down, right below that in the same fashion. Okay? Yep. Once you have your hinges mounted, what we're going to do, we're going to install our bolt hooks to get some measurements to find out what our spacing is. For instance, if you want to have your gate 6 inches off the ground, 8 inches off the ground, or 10 inches off the ground, we're going to need that measurement also. But right now, we're going to go ahead and show you how the bolt hook measurement goes. Your bottom one has a tab on it. They both are going to have a tab on there. All right. So you're going to need to install it at a 90 degree angle and then turn it 90 degrees back straight. That gives you a support and it keeps it in there and it helps to keep the gate coming off the hinge. Your top one to get ultimate security, you're going to turn it upside down. So you use that same tab, put it in at 90 degrees off and rotate it around. Now you're going to go ahead and take your tape measure and measure between these two pins. You want to measure the center diameter of them, or measure right in the center. We're at 31 inches center to center on these. So that's with your top one upside down and your bottom one installed as you see it here. You take that 31 inches, measure down to the bottom of the gate, that's another 7. So if you want it 6 inches off the ground, put you at 13. So you're going to come up on your bottom hole 13 inches. Now let's go to the other side of the pole and drill the holes. Now we got our vertical mark on here that we marked earlier. We're going to go ahead and take the tape measure and go 13 inches up. That gives you that 6 inch clearance underneath the gate. All right, so mark this here. All right, so from that point on, we measured 31 inches between the two hinges. So we'll go from the center of that hole up 31 inches. Mark that. So now we got a perfect mark where we're going to start drilling. All right. Being this is a six by eight post here, we're going to want something that's going to be at least eight inches long on your bit. We recommend using a spade bit. This is a seven eighths, eight, seven eighths inch spade bit. We're using three quarter inch bolt hooks. So you're going to go ahead and take that. Then you put on your safety glasses. Go ahead and take that drill, and on those marks, go ahead and drill through. Do the same, same on the bottom one. So 
Now that we're here, we went ahead and put the, the nut on and a washer. And you want to have this between the gate and the post. This is going to give you your adjustment later on if you need to level the gate. Got the top one turned upside down again. The bottom one's ready to go. So what we're going to do now, we're going to take some wooden blocks and kind of prop it up to get them lined up with the holes to make it easier for you and I to slide that in. All right. I'll put a block on my side. Yeah. You need another one there. All right, let's go ahead and lift the gate up. Slide it forward a little bit. Okay, now let's go ahead and push it all the way in. Good. All right, now that we got the bolt hooks inserted through the post, I can already see that we're gonna have to level this, but that's not gonna be a problem. Go ahead and put one large washer. And install your nut. Go down to the bottom side. Install the large washer. Install the nut. Now we're going to have to have a wrench and a level. You want to have your gate as level as possible. So you put it on here. And you can see that we're tipped down a little bit. So we're going to have to tighten the top bolt. If it's tipped down, you tighten the top bolt to bring the end of the gate up. Okay. If it's tipped up too much, you loosen the top bolt or tighten the bottom one. So you can see we got a little bit of adjustment to do. Maybe put the level on there. Does everything look level? Yep. Go ahead and secure your bottom hinges. Give everything one more turn. We can remove our blocks. Okay, last piece to do. We have our chain hardware here that needs to be mounted on, so once the gate's closed, you're going to be able to have it secured. We'll just go ahead. Put that in. Tighten that up. Go ahead and shut the gate. We're lashed and secure, and we're all done. All right. Of course, another thing we use on some of our economy gates are what is called a lag bolt instead of a bolt hook. The gates are lighter, so they don't need as much strength to support them. Very simple to install. Everything up until this point is the same as our other gates. But what you'll do, you'll drill a hole that's about a half inch hole into the post, and you don't want to drill all the way through because your, your lag's not going to go all the way through. Okay, screw it in. These are a little more difficult to adjust for leveling your gate. Once you get it screwed in, get it where you think it might be about right. Okay, so now what we're going to do for a quick reference point to kind of see if we're going to have a level gate. We go ahead and put the level up on here and check the bubbles. And it shows that we may need to move the top out just a hair to get that bubble in the center. So we'll back it out one turn. And that looks pretty good there. So let's go ahead and install the gate, and we'll tighten it down and make sure we're level. Okay. We'll slide this hinge down, get the bottom one on first, and lift up. Check the level on that. And it actually looks like we need to tighten that top bolt up a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and loosen this again. Okay. Slide that down, tip that off to the side. And go ahead and go one turn. The other way. That should be enough for us. Lift up just a hair. There we go.
Well, we're pretty good. All right. So that's basically the difference between the lag bolt and the bolt hook on the adjustment process.